I've had, a, I've, had a, I've had a talk this week about my girlfriend because I've just met my new girlfriend. She's lovely, you know. She takes a lot of care over her parents, has her hair done twice a week. Monday's her right arm, Wednesday's her left. <laughs> <laughs> she said to me, she says, I want to improve my image, so I covered up all the mirrors in her house. <laughs> I think she's descended from Apaches. Yeah, because she never makes a move at night time. <laughs> Remember the first time I met her, I was driving her home after a disco and I thought she was a witch. Yeah, because she put her hand on my knee when we were driving and I turned into a lay-by. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're driving... Can you slow on... down a bit, please? Mark, I just want to take a few notes here. Sorry? Yeah, watching the master at work. <laughs> Lisa, you've just ruined my joke then. I was halfway through a joke. Oh, sorry, Mark. Sorry. Carry on. Carry on. Sorry. Tell another joke. Do you know another one? Of course I know another one. <laughs> well, you could do the same one again. They'd all heard it anyway. No, I just... This is, this yeah. is a new script. Oh. This. They can't have heard it before. It's a new script. I've just been given it by the writers. They're oh, yeah. It's brand new. It cost me a lot of money, that yeah. did there. You've been robbed. <laughs> Carry on. Right, I'll do this one then, there. <laughs> right, there's these three bits of string, right? Three bits of string. String? Right? Yeah, string, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, oh, trust me, it's a oh, cracker. it's your joke, it's your joke. Right, OK. You then. carry on. So, just sit there, OK, take it. So, string. three bits of string, right? And... <laughs> That's funny, that string. That tickles Fine, me. finished. Yeah. Right. String. <laughs> you crack me up, you do. And they go into a pub, right? Three bits of string, into a pub. And the first, they all sit down the table, and the first bit of string stands up. He goes, what do you want to drink, boys? And the other two bits of string go, we'll have a gin and tonic, please. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark. Oh, hang on, my pen's run out. Finished? It's going now. Right, okay, going now. Right. Right. Carry on. So he goes up to the barman, right? And he goes, barman, right? Barman. Is that one R or two? It's is one R. Will you shut up? I'm trying to do this joke and you're spoiling it. Now shut up, OK? Sorry. Um, he goes up to the barman, he says, barman, three large gin and tonics, please. The barman says, sorry, sir, but we don't serve string in this pub, OK? <laughs> <laughs> to your every word. <laughs> Except the producer, he's just dangling. <laughs> Go on, carry on. Don't mind me. Don't keep us in suspense any longer. We're all dying to know what happens next, aren't we? Yes. yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the second piece of string stands up, OK? He stands up the second piece of string. Looks very annoyed, right? Annoyed, yes. He goes up to the barman and he says, Barman? Oh. He says, what? Three large gin and tonics, please. Complete command over an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Spellbound. <laughs> Are you? Wake up! Listen. It's, been, it's been weeks rehearsing this joke. The least you can do is you listen. Shush, you can't. No respect, have they? Please? Shush, shush. shush. So, Even sorry. if you have heard it before. Shut up! <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> so, sorry. So the, uh, the second piece of string, right? He goes up the barber, he says, Barber, <sighs> gin and tonics. Barber says, sorry, I've told you, mate, don't serve string in here, right? So he goes back to the table, OK? And he says to the lad, he says, you're right, lads, they won't serve us in here because we're bits of string, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope Ben Elton's watching this. Well, they'll serve me, says the third piece of string, right? Oh, he stands up, draws himself up to full height, OK? And ties a knot in his head, right? So how tall <laughs> is he then? <clears throat> this bit of string. Is he very tall? Is he medium? Is he small? String? How tall is a piece? Is this piece of string? It's just it doesn't I'm, matter how big what, he is. Now I, will you shut up? If I don't, will ask, you shut I up? Won't learn. But you've ruined the first joke. You're ruining this one now. I just thought give over. No more. Oh, ah, e, oof, ah, no. Ah, ah, no. I just, shush. I just shush. thought it would be relevant to the comic input of the joke. Well, it's not. Right. Now be quiet, mm, okay? Mm, mm. Sorry. So the third piece of string ties a knot in his Tiny. head. Gets his comb. Timing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what forget this, it now. Well, this is what this business is all about, they say. Don't timing. Time it. Right. Mm. Comb. That was it. Comb. He got his comb now. Right. You probably got time to make a cup of tea before it finishes his joke. <laughs> so he combs half the strands in his head to one side, okay, half the strands to the other side, goes up to the barman, he says, Barman. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't got to the punchline yet, right? I know you're enjoying it, but barman, right? Three lads in a touch. So the barman turns around, right? <sighs> to the optics, turns back, he says, hey, hold on a minute. He says, you're a bit of string, aren't you? 
No, says the string. I'm the... afraid not. <laughs> Look at your tongue. You've ruined it. You've got the same box of crackers as me. Great minds, you see. Great minds. So what is this supposed to be, anyway? A double act or something? Well, it's funny you should say that, because the producer, in a rare moment of consciousness, suggested that that's exactly what we should be. <laughs> Look, that's why I'm out here, you know, studying the art of stand-up. Mm. <laughs> and may I say, I think you're brilliant. I don't, I don't get... Look, I don't care what he says, right? I'm not working with a woman, okay? I work alone, okay? Oh, go on. No? If you let me work with you, I'll recommend a proper hairdresser. <laughs> Why was he shut when you went? <laughs> oh! You see, we could be really good together, you know? Yeah, it was good. We could be like Keith Chegwit and Maggie Philbin. Hey? Eh? Yeah, without lobotomies. Please. Oh, go on, please, let me work with you. No, I'm not doing it, Lisa, I'm not. Wally. By myself. Wally. I'm not going to change my mind. Father. How about it, eh? Father. All right, then. <laughs> What's on the bottom? <laughs> Give us the script. Let's have a look at the right, actor. Then. Here you go. Look at that, then. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's a cracker. Hmm. I'm not doing that. Hey. <laughs> You weren't going to say that, were you? That's my best one, that. You can't say that on Sully. <laughs> no, not doing that. Disgusting. You did it last week. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> I did that last week. <laughs> Heard it. Sexist, Mark! But that's the most expensive gag in the oh. whole script. Don't get that one. Don't like the look of that. There's the act. <laughs> right, okay then. Uh, two Irish fellas walk into a pub, okay? And Lisa, wait. Aren't we doing this double act? Afraid not. <laughs>